Hey, Polka folks. So today I have something a little different than my traditional openings, and it's actually a type of review. I ordered some Pokemon candy from Oyatsu Cafe, which is pretty cool. Um, they had a Pokemon collector's uh, coupon that one of my really good friends, Classy Persian, uh, told me about. And so I decided I was going to buy a few different things and review them for you guys here on my channel. So I'm really stoked. I'm just going to get right into it because I've actually been getting very excited about this. Ugh. They have a bunch of stuff. They have not just only Pokemon, but like everything from Japan, candy related, and also some toys and such. Ugh. Oh, it's very well packaged. So here is my receipt. Cool. Oh, cool. So here you guys can check out what this is. Uh, Kawaii Monthly sends you five Japanese charms, soft toys, accessories, makeup, and other great stuff for only $19 or $18.99. So that's pretty neat. Anyways, here it is, bubble wrapped beautifully. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Oh wow, I've never seen this much bubble wrap in my life. <laughs> okay, so here's a quick packaging overview here. And I ordered a few different things. I ordered these, um, they're like pineapple battle thingies. They're supposed to have like a battle card in there. Uh, I don't really understand. We'll see it when we open it. And um, then some pineapple tasting candy. And I'll tell you how that tastes and if I recommend it and how many stars and whatnot. And then here are some awesome X and Y inspired, as you can see, Clef Key there. Got some legendaries up in this his house and Pikachu. And it just looks really nice. You got Greninja, uh, Chestnut, and, and uh, Delphox up there. And you've got the starters there. And you see. For some reason, there seems to be a thunderstone involved here. I don't know what that says because I don't read Japanese. But anyways, this looks really cool. These are gummies. They look delicious. And last but not least, these. And I actually saw my friend um, Classy Persian do a review of these. These are awesome looking. As you can see, they're supposed to look like Voltorb or Pokeballs. And they've got a Master Ball inspired one. They've got a Pokeball. And I guess that's supposed to be Voltorb. I'm not really sure what the difference is, except maybe it tastes different. Anyways, that's really neat too. Um, and they show you there's some stuff there and whatnot. Okay, so I don't know what you should try first. I'm kind of curious about these battle doogies. So I'm going to open this very carefully. Oh, here we go. They show like a little bit of the picture here. If it'll zoom. So I'm very cu curious as to what these are. I'm going to have a link to the uh, cafe store uh, too. So you guys can go get some stuff. It's pretty dang cheap. I did not spend very much on all of this. So, oh snap. It's like gum, I guess. Um, as you can see, this is like gumish. Oh, neat. Okay, now I see where they're going. I'll, I'm just going to take all of these ones out of this pack and show you guys. So I'm guessing it's gum, uh, pineapple tasting gum. And so here is a rye horn. You unfold it and it's like a picture of a rye horn. That's awesome. And then it's the gum. Or I don't know if it's candy. Um, I kind of want to wait un until at the end of the video if it is gum because I don't want to like spit out gum. I'll just keep it in my mouth, so I'll wait till the end. Anyways, this is more like papery. And then there's one, oops. Then there's one that's like glossy, and that is the X and Y character, I guess. This one's like, you can see the difference here. Anyways, this is very cool Froakie right here. Very nice. Shout out to um, Polyon717. He's a team Froakie, as am I. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. And I love how they just kind of fall off. You don't have to rip them or anything like that. And here's a very cool Espeon for all those Eeveeloo fans out there. Very nice. I'm gonna get to actually eating these in a minute, don't worry you guys, I just wanna kinda take my time and look at this. An adorable Meowth, shout out to my friend Classy Persian actually, cause she's a huge Persian fan. And I'm guessing Meowth too. And last but not least, we've got a War Turtle here, looking really cool and badass. Okay, so I'm gonna wait with these ones. Um, I'm gonna get to the gummies, why not? I do have a scissors with me just so I can cut this very carefully and save the packaging. There we go. So here's the first impressions of the bag. Looks pretty standard gummy-like. Um, smells amazing though, really like Japanese awesome. Let me see. Mmm. This one's kind of like bubble gum, I think. I think it's supposed to be like soda of some sort. It's not too strong. It's pretty uh, like artificial tasting, but pretty awesome. So here's a pink gem looking thing. I think they're supposed to look like gems. I've got like faceting. Um, oh, I get it. And then you mix them to taste like different things. So 
I guess. Mm. That pink one's really good. It's grapefruit. So if you mix grapefruit and lemon, you get orange, I guess. Lemon and soda, you get lemon soda, which makes sense. And if you get um, soda and grapefruit, you get, I don't know, root beer? That's really weird. Um, I'm going to try the white yellow one, too. Yep. That pretty much tastes like standard lemon. So, these aren't too fancy. I mean, I guess they kind of taste like fruit gummies. Uh, for you European folks out there, if you know kaches, uh, they kind of taste like that. Um, but they're really good. I definitely could, we'll eat more of these later. I'll give these a 3 out of 5. Pretty decent. Nothing out of the ordinary, though. Okay, I'm excited about these ones. Really excited. Um, again, I'm going to just cut this so I can keep the wrapping because it's pretty neat. And I'm just going to dump these out so you guys can see all the pictures. They have a Who's That Pokemon in each one. Oh, well, that's cool. So we can do a quick Who's That Pokemon. We've got Eveltel here. We've got a Magnemite. We've got Lucario, I think got actually is that Froki? who is that i'm not sure you guys might have to tell me who that is i think this is venusaur got wah buffet we got two absol that's pretty neat and a pikachu and a noivern that's nice and i'm guessing this is supposed to be pokeball or voltorb or electrode and then Inkay, oops, Inkay, and Slurpuff. Okay, so I'm just going to try one of the, I guess, Pokeball ones. I'll take one of the Voltorbs since it's already in this. Since there are two of these. Okay, so here's a Voltorb. Looks pretty neat. It's supposed to look like a Pokeball. Kind of looks like um, Chupa Chup or whatever it's called. I'm going to eat this now. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. So it tastes like cola. It's got a bit of a sour undertone with bite. And it's kind of fizzy almost on the outside. I really like this one a lot. I almost go so far as to give it 5 out of 5 because it's really... It's interesting. <laughs> I like that one a lot. Mmm. I'm actually gonna be gross and take this out of my mouth and put it back in the wrapper for a second because I want to taste one of the Master Ball ones. Okay, so I'm going to try this um, Eveltel one because there are two of those too. And this one, ooh, is purple and white like a Master Ball. So I'm gonna try that one. Oh yeah, so this is like fizzy grape. It's almost even better than the cola one. I really, really like it. Mm. I'm gonna actually finish eating this and come back and do the rest of the review, guys. Okay, you guys, I finished the uh, hard candy and also the cola one, and they both stay kind of fizzy towards the end. They're fun, they're delicious, they're, I don't know, really, really good flavored. Um, definitely recommend those ones more than the gummies. The gummies are good. They're just not very many in there and they're also kind of blah. But anyways, I'm gonna finish off by trying one of these wrapper dudes. I'm actually gonna open the other one and see if there are any characters that we have yet to see. So I'm gonna open this and be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I haven't looked at the stack yet, but we will momentarily. So we've got a cool looking Salamance here. Very nice. We've got, oh, another Eeveeloo. Got a Glaceon, very cute. Shout out to my friend Suicune of the North Wind Zero. Oh my gosh, we got another Eeveeloo. Got an Umbreon here. Very, very neat. Very cool. And last but not least, oh no, that's not true. We've got the glossy one too. We've got a Lucario with kind of derpy colors, but still pretty cool. Oh, I like that a lot. And last but not least, we got our glossy one, which is a Bulbasaur. Very neat. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and eat one of these bad boys here. Uh, I guess I'll take this War Turtle one from earlier. And we'll see how this tastes. I'm guessing it's gum. Okay, it's kind of... Oh, yeah. 
Mmm. Mmm. It's kind of hard. I don't think it's gum. Mmm. I think it's like taffy. Oh my gosh. It's like creamy pineapple. It's actually like pineapple pie. Like, you know, key lime pie? It's like that only with pineapple. Oh my gosh. It's not gum. <laughs> it's really, really good though. I definitely recommend it. Wow. I'm actually going to give that 5 out of 5 too. That's delicious. I ate that way faster than I probably should have. Anyways, this was really fun to open. As you can see, there are really fun traits to every one of these. There's wrappers you can keep for your collections or they are good for gifts to friends, whatevers. Um, I definitely suggest checking out their store. It's just really neat. And um, they've also got toys and stuff like that. So check it out regularly. They probably will get more stuff. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this candy review. I've never done that before. And maybe I'll do it again in the future if new candy arises. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you soon.